Welcome back to another reacting to your flips. I've got the new microphone, I've got this video light, we're taking this to the next level. If you don't know what this video is, every so often I get people to send in clips to my Instagram, which I'm going to put right here. Send me clips here and I'll react to them in the next video. But for this one, you guys have sent me quite a lot. Let's get to it. Hi, I'm Emilio from Germany and I have a question, may you help? Alright, cartwheel to backflip? No one really does cartwheel to backflip. Okay, it's a round off backflip. It's good. That point in between coming out of the round off and going to the backflip, try and make that faster, try and make that more continuous and get all your energy from the round off to smash yourself up and do a sweet backflip. Nice. Fooling. Are you in a library or something? Where is that? That looks insane. Looks like you're doing that in your school or something. Nice. I mean, just have fun. It'd mean the world if you could feature this in your vid. I know it's, it's a pretty bad fail. Alright, let's check it. Oh no! No! <laughs> oh! That's a bad one, that's funny. You trying to kaboom? I've been there, I think we've all been there. You know when you try and get the flip? And there's just not you've got nothing to work with. Don't know what happens with my fools. Whoa, okay. Okay. You just gotta flip it more. You're like doing the twist part, but your flip is not really working. So as you're pulling into the fool, make sure you're also pulling round into the back flip. Like really start to pull it back as you're pulling it in for the fool. If that makes sense. Just keep trying it though. It's very close. Alright, B twist. Let me see. I can barely see it. I don't know why, but Instagram like crops the video when you send them in a direct message. That's looking good. Oh, dude, all you need to do is practice that. Also, as you're like dipping down into it, try to get your chest across yourself a little bit more. So you're, you're going down and you're getting to here. But try to get more over. Try like get your chest over. I can do this, but not round off. Well, if you can do double front flip, you have all the body awareness that you need to understand how to do a round off. So you just gotta train your cartwheels, train your like back to front cartwheels, and then just do that, but land with both feet and you've got yourself a round off. If you can do double front already, learning round off shouldn't be an issue for you. Can you please bring the hoodies back? They're coming back soon. In a couple of weeks, I'm gonna have the hoodie, this hoodie, and I'm gonna have a new hoodie. So watch out for that. Nice, good technique. Any tips for popping it into the back flip? Um, just, you know that point where you land with your chest down and then you bring it up into the back flip? With anything in general, with flips in general, the lower you can land with your chest to then bring it up, the more um, power you're gonna be able to get because when your chest is low, it means you can bring it all the way up into that back flip and it's just sort of like blocking and it's gonna make that much easier so just try bring your chest up faster out of the B twist and then you'll be able to just lift it more up into the back flip. I, I'm not very good at flips and I keep forgetting moves please help. That sounds like a memory thing not so much a not so much a trick thing but you know if you're training B twist over and over again you'll remember it because of the struggle of a B twist unless you're really fast at learning you just don't even have time to remember the tricks hey Kyle don't know if you're interested but I broke my middle finger whilst doing a cartwheel drunk here's supposed to be a corkscrew any tips to help me land it okay you're starting it good it's just a lack of commitment it's like your your chest wants to go around but the, your bottom half is sort of disconnected with your upper half so do just as you're doing there but just try really pull over for that extra half and then let your hips and your bottom half of your body like follow with you so really like tense your core as you do it and just help pull in for that extra half twist and then you've got yourself a cork and I think it'll be a good cork as well I can't get over the fear of doing backflip on ground but I've done it standing on trying it multiple times I think there's a lot of people that are in the same position as you and oh, it's kind of a weird one like I, I, you know, if you can already do it on trampoline from standing, then you already know how to do it with decent enough technique to probably do it on ground. The way I transitioned from trampoline to ground was I took a mattress on the trampoline and I just, uh, I would just do it off of that. I think actually to begin with I had two mattresses and then that would be like 
it would sort of act as like a really bad trampoline and then once I could do it on that standing then I would do it on one mattress and then once I could do it on that then if you can do it on one mattress you can probably like get fairly close on the ground and I guess if you have someone that's good at spotting so that's like when they sort of help you around if you have someone who's decent and reliable at that and they're not gonna purposely try and smash you tombstone you into the ground then hit them up and be like yo give me give me give me some give me some help but the thing is with backflip I don't know the fear it's all fear but it's easy you just gotta remember that it's easy and if you just do everything right you'll be fine all right I'm a big fan of your YouTube channel I need tips on my backflip it's good. Just try, just keep practicing it. I mean, you you look fairly young. Tricks are just harder when you're young because you're like not as strong yet. Aww. See, I used to build like that when I was younger. And I remember I used to be fine. But I can't remember if it used to hurt to build like that. Do you guys ever build like that? Let me know if it hurts to build like that on your head. I don't know if I'm just too old now and I feel like my neck's more fragile. Hey, I'm six foot four. Flipping is kind of hard. Do you know any other trickers this tall I could watch to learn how they move? Six foot four is tall, but it's definitely not too tall. I don't know if there is a too tall for tricking. Check out Slava. Check out Anise. Damn, I don't know. There's a couple of tall trickers out there that are around six foot something. Check out Slava. Check out Anise. Search them on YouTube. You'll be able to find them. Just landed my first ever b twisting double cork on my third attempt. Let me check it, let me check it. Was that the ender T? Yes it is. Yo! That's sick. That's really good man. That's a... You're doing that with good technique, that looks really good. Oh, cartful do you like twist? Dude, you got sick looking tricks. Good job. Bro, I love your content. I'm currently 14, learning tricking. I hope to meet you one day when I'm older, sub or something. I do really appreciate you guys reaching out to me on Instagram. I do appreciate it, and I do try and reply to as many of them as I can. In the PZ hoodie. Yo! Nice cart dub. That's good. Nice, dude. Very nice. Did you call this a gainer flash? Yeah, definitely. That's a gainer flash. Just keep working on it. You'll find that, like, when you're doing Gainer Flash, there's like a certain sweet spot in it. And then once you hit that, it helps like throw it all the way around. You're like almost caught that. Just keep doing it and then you'll find that sweet spot. And then you won't need to tuck on your leg. You'll just throw yourself around. You're just not jumping that much. Like when you're doing a full, it's very easy just to like rip it around. But you still want to focus on bringing it up as high as you can. So I think that you could jump a bit more. Just do exactly that but jump into it a bit more and you'll do it fine. Nice, that's good. Keep doing it and then you'll get more comfortable with how that feels, that like twisting in the air because when you're not that used to doing a full, like your body's quite prone to being like flaccid, you know, not being like as tight. Tent your core, pull it around, you got yourself a full. Doing flips on sand is hard, that's one thing as well. You know, I see clips of like Jason Goma and various other like Spanish trickers and stuff tricking on sand. Tricking on sand is hard. If you're struggling to do front flip on sand, you might have an easier time trying it on grass. I don't know, tricking on sand is hard. You know, for being like a free runner, for being a free runner and then coming into tricks, it's always quite cool because free runners just have like a bit of a different style and I love to see like their take on tricking. Nice, dude. Cool, I'll let you know if I'm ever in Manchester, but nice tricks, dude. You got a good style, I see like all the... You can always tell when someone's good because they don't just do the tricks, they torque into it. There's like a... This power that flows through all of it, and you can see that they're tensing and using their muscles and using their power at the right point. Because tricking isn't just power, 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 power the whole time. It's about the relaxing and contracting and timing of everything and when to use all the power and when to not and... It's what separates the good trickers from the, the bad trickers. The biggest tip I can give with Webster is don't do it, don't treat it like a front flip. Treat it like its own thing. So when you're stepping back into it and you're driving your back leg up, you shouldn't be thinking, and now I need to front flip. You should just let that back leg take you all the way over. So what I do, I step back into it, I grab my leg that's still on the ground. Yeah, you do. And yeah, just kind of wait. Like you get to a point where your back leg's kicking up and then you throw it into a front flip. 
kick it up and let it take you around and just believe in that back leg. I guess I kind of do this as well with my chest as I'm like kicking my back leg up. I try to just bring it all into the air, but not in like a front flip motion. Maybe that'll help. Maybe I'll make it way worse. I don't know. I'm actually quite bad at Webster anyway, so I probably shouldn't be even giving advice on that. But try it out and see. It might just be the best day of your life. Three more, then I'm ending this video. Oh! Nah, it's pretty good. The only problem you have is there's a slight lack of flip on it. Like, because you're landing with your chest low, it just means that you didn't quite get enough flip on it. So just try flip it a bit more, like you have a good set, you have a good twist. But you know, as you're reaching back into it, pull it around a little bit more, and then yeah, it'll be a really good triple full. It's already pretty good. This is the last one I'm gonna do. Can land side flip on the ground, but I can't land straight up. Are you doing this on concrete? Dang, kid. Okay. So for me, any trick in which you land standing straight up, it's almost an illusion in the trick. And by that, what I mean is, so when I'm doing like a Webster, I could do a Webster that's so low, but still land standing up. And the secret to that is tucking really, really tight and opening out at the right time. Now I think what your problem was there, you opened out slightly too early. If you like waited a split second before like extending your legs from your tuck, you would have landed like more upright. Anything I do where I land standing straight up, it's all about extending my legs down to the ground at the right time. If you do it slightly too early, it's gonna be bad. If you do it slightly too late, it's gonna be bad. But if you can do it at the right time in any trick, that's the secret to landing straight up. Hopefully that makes sense. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna wrap it up there. If you guys liked it, please hit the like button. Remember, you can follow me on Instagram here and send me some clips if you wanna be in the next one. It's good clips, fail clips, tips, stuff that you need tips on, and I will do my best to get back to you or feature it in the next video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I make content like this. I do vlogs and tricking content, trampoline content, all sorts of stuff, and I'm posting every day right now. So if you wanna see more of that, subscribe, tell your friends, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. God damn it. Day two of skating. Whoa. Random shit.